how to make a graphite crucible. We're uh, this is for how to set up the form. What we will be using is a steel tube, very similar to this one, uh, with a flange. We're going to use that flange to get a little uh, lip on the crucible, which is better for grip. And it'll be sitting on cinder blocks, and we'll be compressing clay in it. The uh, most important thing on the crucible is a center core. We're going to be packing the clay around this core and it's very important that we be able to remove this while the clay is still wet. If we don't remove it while the clay is wet, the clay will shrink and it will crack, uh, pretty well rendering it useless. Uh, this core that I've made here has a heat sealable plastic freezer bag that's been precisely seen to fit around the sections. It's in four sections of PVC and it has a support base which is to keep everything in place while we're pressing on it. You'll notice it has a dowel in the center. This is a, a wax coated dowel. It's designed that when this dowel is extracted the four sections will come together and remove while the clay is wet. The freezer bag of course will keep it from the clay from sticking fiercely to the PVC and it can be simply peeled away. Uh, in order to ram this thing in there, I have a steel tube with a washer on one end and a steel round on the other. We will be packing the clay using the washer end and a 12 ton hydraulic bottle jack until we get up to the top of the uh, core, at which point we will pack another solid one inch of clay forming the bottom of the crucible remove the stops and then force the entire clay crucible out while it is still wet. Here are the three components we'll be using. Uh, we actually have a pipe that's a little taller than this. You see these two don't quite match up, but it's so heavy I didn't really want to lug it over here. This is the core right here and as you can see this is the uh, support base that we've shown here and you can pretty well get an idea of how this is set up. Uh, then of course for the ram it's pretty self-explanatory but you've got a steel tube with the washer and the flat on it. Uh, this is the formula for the, uh, the crucible we'll be trying. Uh, with graphite we're using 64 ounces about 30 to 31 uh, percent. Borosilicate glass 16 ounces 7 to 8 percent. Uh, you're adding the borosilicate uh, to keep the graphite from oxidizing. Even though it has a very high melting temperature, uh, it will tend to combine with oxygen in certain oxygen-rich situations, such as a propane foundry. Silicon car carbide, 24 uh, ounces, around 11 to 12 percent. And the fire clay, well, it's coming in wet. It'll actually be 128 ounces, but since this is based on dry weight, it calculates out to about 106 ounces dry weight, which is 48 to 51 percent. Uh, but this gives you a rough idea. You can try varying it uh, as you maybe find improvements and all with the formula. But we feel like this will work pretty well. What the uh, graphite clay looks like once it's. Uh, been mixed with all the ingredients. It's, uh, I made this with a uh, homemade clay mixer. It was really difficult to mix by hand and I've left it uh, laid out drying all night to get some of the water out. You have to add a bit more water than you would normally want to use for uh, for casting this. But it's kind of a, a pretty evenly mixed, uh, kind of a slick fill on it from the graphite. And uh, we'll adjust the water real soon and go ahead and uh, make a crucible. But for now what we're going to do is we're going to mix up uh, some clay uh, by hand just through kneading it and we'll be adding a, a pound of a uh, half a pound of graphite, one pound of clay, uh, three ounces of silicon carbide and two ounces of the borosilicate which is the one pound form basically. So we just start out, just uh, the clay comes in a real uh, stiff form, kind of like Play-Doh, which uh, is uh, great for modeling but won't do 
uh, too well when it comes to mixing in the graphite. So we take the clay and we'll add just a little bit of water to it and we'll knead it. And uh, it's kind of a messy job. And uh, I'll, we'll try to get it a little bit softened up before we add the graphite and the other ingredients. It takes a lot of work mixing it by hand. Uh, glad I made the mixer. I, I'd hate to do 15 pounds of this stuff.
Okay, this is extraction. So slide right out. Alright, Mary, just very gently press down. On it, and I'll try to hold it as it comes on through. Don't be too too fast. That graphite's very slick. You just keep on going. I keep on coming. It's as even as could be. That's good. Pick it up and sit it right, right there on the floor. Just straight up. Looks nice. But we are definitely running some heat. This is what the uh, graphite crystal looks like after uh, three pours. Uh, if I come up with any improvements, I'll keep you posted. And also, perhaps if you come up with any improvements to the formula or the technique, uh, you know, send me a line. I'll be most interested in trying it out. Uh, it looks like this will last quite a while for me.